All right, guys, so today we're back with another lick. We're gonna be looking at a introduction to chicken picking. If you guys are a fan of Zach Wild, you know that he does this technique quite a bit. Effectively, the idea is that you're going to be using um, pick notes mixed with um, a hybrid note with the right hand finger. I'm gonna play our exercise and then we're gonna break it down. So here it is. I'm gonna try to get that a little bit more in the shot for you guys. So let's get that a little bit more. All right, so now you can see my picking hand a little bit better. All right, so first part of this. These are all eighth notes, by the way. So we're gonna be taking a uh, our first finger and putting it on the third fret of the low E string. We're gonna go third fret hammer to fifth fret. Then with the right hand middle finger, we're gonna pluck the third fret on the A string. And when you pluck, you're pulling it up, like a bass player would, you're kinda of like this. Then I'm gonna come up to the low E string fifth fret and I'm gonna pluck that note with my pick. I lay my ring finger flat and then I use my ring, on uh, middle finger, sorry, on my right hand and I pick it again. Back to the fifth fret on the low E string with a pick. I finish it by going, that's three hammer to five on the A string using my middle finger. So slowly you get this. And you can see my right hand. Follow this finger, follow that finger, and, <laughs> and uh, you'll understand. Here we go. See that? So the first thing you want to do is get that first shape down. Like a lot of the things we do on this channel, you're gonna just move that up an octave. Now we're at the fifth fret on the D string. We go five hammer to seven. Five on the G. The right hand is all the same as the other one. Seven on the D, seven on the G, back to seven on the D, five hammered seven on the G now. You probably hear Zach do that a lot. The last thing is just the same thing, one octave higher. Now we're at eight on the B string. <clears throat> eight hammered to ten, eight high E. 10 B, 10 high E, back to 10 on the B, eight hammer to 10 high E. Uh, you can hear Zach do that as well in um, the Pentatonics Hardcore video. So all three of those. really give you a pretty good run of the fretboard. I would recommend like a lot of the things that on this channel I talk about, take your time with it and work with it to a metronome slowly. Because the other thing is that you're building up the dexterity in your right hand. If you're not a bass player, you're not like a hardcore finger picking person, which I would, I'm not gonna generalize everybody on this channel, but I think that a lot of us maybe aren't. Um, you're going to have to take some time to build up the stamina in your right hand to be able to do that. So. As usual, like I said, um, <clears throat> keep practicing this stuff. If you guys are interested, there is a Patreon. I should have mentioned that earlier, which has tabs and the whole bit. Um, I'll be back next week with another video, guys.